Hi, I'm the host of the STO Smokers Lounge. I'm here to tell you about Anchor, the perfect app that you can use right now to start your own podcast network. You can broadcast right now. All you got to do is download the app, whether you have a phone, iPad, or even a laptop or desktop. You can right now download Anchor or go to Anchor FM right now and start recording and have your stuff broadcasted over multiple platforms such as Spotify. So go to Anchor today and start your podcast career like I have. Because trust me, I love me some Anchor. Black Wall Street is now online, baby. That's right. Visit the GW District. Shop the very best in men's and women's apparel and accessories, home decor, office supplies, books, pantry items, and so much more. The GW District is a retail marketplace of black-owned products and media. We're both veteran and black-owned, and we're bringing you the best online shopping experience with products made by small businesses. Come and experience the GW District difference today at Shop gwdistrict.com that's shop gwdistrict.com the gw district a retail marketplace of black owned products and media that's right that's right good evening or morning well probably morning when you're hearing this and how you doing how you doing and y'all know what it is welcome to the Smokers Lounge here on Anchor, the perfect app for anyone who's trying to start their own podcast career. All you gotta do is download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm and start podcasting today. I'm your host, Kevin August 7 Champ, aka the Point Rap Star. Find all my links with one link, all my links.com backslash Point Rap Star. Y'all know the sponsors, lsworld.com, Rhysism Mag, magazine.com, as well as Excite Money. Dot com black owned as you know also proud member of the GW District Black Podcast Network go over to shop gwdistrict.com buy products from over 500 black owned retailers and shop also as you know if you've been listening and paying attention and you didn't check out fully swap radio.com you can hear me every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday Thursday, Friday morning 6 a.m. Central Standard Time, 7 p.m. on the East Coast. So that means you in New York, you can sip your coffee or listen to me while you're on commute. Also, check me out on SkyhawkAfterDarkTV.com as well as VGP LLC app, which you can access on your phone or on your desktop on their SGP radio. So, <clears throat> today... I have no co-hosts. God decided I want to talk to y'all myself. You know, for actually today I posted and recorded something with a lovely lady, but y'all know how it goes with podcasting. And people get busy. Other things happen, you know. Shit happens. Just like in porn, you know, you know. You gotta re you gotta reschedule, you know. Someone flaked. Have not saying that the lady flaked. I don't think that she flaked. She done a show before. She probably got busy. You know, it's just keep it 100. I'm not paying these people to come on my show. They come on for the love of it. And they enjoy talking to me, which to me makes me feel even better because that means I must be a genuine soul that you're willing to take time out your day for free to come talk to me. You tell me your story and your life and what's going on in your life. And I get to tell you the same. That's the beauty of podcasting. So, no, this is not video. Um, I didn't feel like getting on video. I, I, I said if I start doing some of these episodes, I might start doing them video-wise uh, to where um, y'all might can see my face here and there. You know, because maybe that's what y'all want. It seemed like it, to sell podcasts, you need to do video. Because you see, that what the medium that they want, and they might listen to audio, but ultimately they want to see the video. Or you know, it's it's, it's interesting. So because you get to the point that with me dealing with you know doing the subscription based stuff, I was thinking of that. I said, why 
doesn't Spotify have a button on Spotify for you to subscribe directly through Spotify that will take you to where you need to spend the money, you know? Because you got to go to Anchor to subscribe, and then you got to listen to it on Spotify. I don't talk about it before. So. But, yeah, but by the time you people are listening and hearing this, it is exotica time. It's about to be exotica time right around the corner. I don't know the exact date that this is supposed to happen exactly. I think it's usually around the time of my wife's birthday, which kind of sucks. So that means if I go to it, I got to miss out on my wife's birthday. So kind of sucky thing. But this is the big one. This is exactly in New Jersey. Um, and um, it's huge for porn stars because, no, it's not the AVNs. The AVNs is more about the AVNs. Exotica is about, it, AVN is more about the mainstream porn, to be honest with you. Um, Exotica has, is more about the content creator, the independent, as well as the mainstream. Everyone gets a taste. You know, they have fashion shows, they have live performances for, from BDSM, Dominatrix, and stuff like that. Um, musical performance from some of the porn stars that rap or sing or what have you. You know, it's an opportunity for porn stars to mingle and fans to meet them. And trust me, New Jersey be popping way more than probably... I, I mean, D.C. is is probably the next popping one, but it's kind of like, you know, Chicago is hot, but it's nothing like New Jersey. You know? So, for some of you people who might plan to go to one of these, or a person is trying to break into the business, how do you go about doing a convention, a porn convention, or a Zotico, per se. Well, first and foremost, you never book the month of. You book two to three months ahead. I'm speaking as a dude, or even female, because understand, as it gets closer to the date, and people are finalizing where they're going, they're they start to get booked up faster and faster and faster and faster. So you might talk to a chick that when you talk to her, let's say you talk to her in June, right? By the time you talk and you decide you, you decide you didn't want to ask her about doing a shoot. You think, oh, I'm gonna hit her up around September, mid September. Yeah, around mid September she's booked because understand the, the more popular girl is and they know that she's coming the more that male talents producers companies or what have you is going to book them up and that's facts um like for example yeah tell nicole i already know guarantee she's doing a game man you know period um you have some females who are booked to companies already actually working the company's uh, table or what have you. So, the main thing is when you're trying to book these ladies, book them ahead of time. You know, period. Um, if you happen to do a content trade house, you discuss, ask them when they're going to New Jersey. Um, you see a girl announce she's going to New Jersey. As soon as you see she announces it, hit her up. Hit her with a DM, ask her, well, you know, what she'd be interested in, what have you, you know, period. Now, fellas, you kind of going to have to overbook. This is going to sound crazy. You may not land all of this, but it's better it's called the law of averages. We know how it works. Try to get 10 girls booked. The reason why, if you somehow end up shooting 10 girls, I'll give you a thumbs up, but probably nine out of ten, out of that ten, you probably shoot maybe four. Because shoots overrun, motherfuckers get drunk. <laughs> People get on the period. Yeah, a lot of shit happens. I mean, I went into three months out of his when I went in 2019 with seven shoots. By the end of his arc, I only walked away with two. And one female I knew 
for a minute. I knew her when I was doing BCB Street Team. She was one of the girls, you know, period. And then we reconnected, and she was going to Exotica, and she goes to Exotica, and, well, it didn't work out. I don't feel like going into telling her business, but let's just say she decided to do something that I'm like, you decided to do it now. But shit happens in life, I guess. So, also, take into account, one, if you don't have a camera guy, make sure that you have equipment, you have your paperwork, in order, and have plenty of it. Um, any hotel, you can go downstairs and Ask them to print out your shit <coughs> or what have you. Um, you know, say print out your shit. Um, the reason why you want lighting, you want studio type lighting. The reason why, because dude, you're amongst the best, of the best when you go to these conventions. You're you're hooking up with talking to, rubbing elbows with people from Sarah J to the girl that just broke into business two weeks ago. So, the quickest way to get your reputation fucked up is to look shabby during these conventions. So you want it to be that when, if you go to her room, you got the lighting and everything. If she comes to your room, you got it. Even though she might have light, you be like, "Well, look, I got my, I got my equipment. No, you good, you good. Me and my husband, you know, yeah." Also, remember to pace yourself on your shoots because understand we are dudes. Even to females, they have to pace themselves because one, you ain't gonna come for so much. It, it, Two, you gonna sit and tell me that you shoot five in a day? You gonna have all five is gonna be strong? Very real. I mean, you, I've done it, but it but it wasn't often. You need to give yourself time to rest. You need to give yourself time to relax. You know, period. If you dare to shoot, don't be worried about partying so goddamn much. If you dare to party, don't worry about shooting. See, that's the biggest mistake motherfuckers make is that they try to do both. And then they miss out on shit. Because understand, there's females that's going to be there, fellas, that want to work. They want to shoot. You might run into a shoot in your fucking hotel hallway. Also, make it a point to never leave until Monday morning. The reason why, because you have some ladies that might stay over uh, on a Sunday and they looking for someone to shoot. Trust me, they happen to be up there. I could have got three more fucking scenes and my man just decided to leave Monday morning. See, that's the other part of it. Make sure that you're able to move around without the assistance of others so much. Meaning if you bring a cameraman, he better be your cameraman. <laughs> but like I said, you have to bring equipment. It's, it's bottom line. Now you might now you might put your faith into a producer that you might know and he'll send you the content. But here's the point. The point being is you want to leave with the content. So how you do that? You control that by having your own fucking camera. Your own lights. You know what I'm saying? You know, period. If, if, if you happen to go work with another producer, and this is content trade, let's make that clear. Because you might look up and got a page shoot. Make sure you have a flash drive. Make sure you have a hard drive. Hell, have an SD card. Preferably 24 gigabytes or bigger. Anything that you can get that you can put your shit on. Get the IDs, get the, the paperwork, what have you. Lucky for everybody on OnlyFans, you can tag motherfuckers. So there you go. But see, here's the the interesting, like, 
kick it to it, right? You also need to have a plan when you're going up there. Now, what I mean so people can understand this, all right? You need to know what type of shoots you're planning to do. If it's role play or what have you, you need to make sure that the female that you're working with understands what she needs to bring and the whole nine. The more organized you look, the better off you will be. And the more they'll want to fuck with you. And will make the pussy wet. Because ladies, they like to be directed in this business. There's many that like to direct, but the many of them love to be directed. They love to be, you know, prepped and primed and and somewhat told what to do. Now I ain't saying saying you 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 need to be the, the bitch go you need to do. no no I ain't saying that no 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 only if she's into that shit. Now there's some subs that don't mind you talking that way to them. It's just some Dom and BDSM shit that's something else. But the point I'm trying to make is that um You have to know what you're going to shoot. Make sure you bring the outfits that you want to wear. You know, fellas, shower up after every scene. You know, period. I don't need to tell you about TTS or having a test. It's common sense. Because this ain't like you meeting up with a girl from IG and or a girl that you that's in your neighborhood and you was fucking and she don't mind be on camera. No, this is a different level. <clears throat> so they gonna want they they gonna be around professionals and let me keep it one hundred real. You might look up every once in a blue moon or even to a point if the girl really let's say wanna fuck you. And she might let you slide with giving a health department test. Might even let you slide with bringing the paper. I know, guys, and I've been in positions where I let certain things slide. I mean, she had a good track record. That's why I let it slide. But, you know, that's a story for another day. But the point I'm trying to make is that may not happen at no goddamn convention. That's more about y'all talking, you know, and, and there might be a little flirt involved or what have you, you know, fellas, you know, period. My situation wasn't like that. <laughs> like sometimes you're stuck in a position where it's fuck it, I, it you're here now I might as well just get this damn content while I can who the fuck else gonna know I ain't gonna tell nobody I ain't tell y'all no names did I see so you have to actually come with a TTS test or a test where it's, they, you can pull it up online and the site look legit Hell, if I put it up online and show it to you, you really give me a lot of credit. You think I fake that. <clears throat> but, because understand, whenever a TTS come up dirty, and it happened over there in New Jersey, they shut down for a day and a half because of it. Two, the other thing is, you want to kind of catch the female, any female you work with, you want to at least be the second at worst, third dude that she don't work with. No disrespect to you women, but do you want to be the third chick that we don't work with? That come, that come shot may not be as strong. So many motherfuckers might not give you a come shot. Y'all may have to fake it. Fake the cream pie and shit. It is better to get because, no, I, I didn't get all seven of the scenes that I was looking or whatever shoot scenes we were going to do. But I walked away with three quality scenes that made me money. So if all you can do is five scenes that weekend, make them quality so they can make you money. Because it doesn't matter if, if you can shoot ten scenes and all ten scenes are garbage. Yeah, they might sell, but see, it's about them continuously selling. You look on your mini bids, you see that motherfucker done sold 50 times in six months. 
You get what I'm saying? I mean, just giving you a little tidbit number. Say, I motherfucker don't want me to pay attention to your mini vids. When you go on that motherfucker, what have you seen? How many numbers that that scene does or what have you? That's how I know what to put on, what site did it, what we actually work in and everything. The numbers don't lie. Fans tell you, you just got to figure out the puzzle to make the picture. You get me? That's old man shit right there. I'm an old man. So, like I said, fellas, you got to pace yourself. You know, period. I keep saying this. We are male talent. It's okay to get the little convenience store pills or the blue chew or if some of you motherfuckers didn't get Viagra or by all means just just hope that you don't have a heart attack by doing it but the point I'm trying to make is you want to be at your best when you shoot these things so know your body and know how you work and be prepared to move and be moved because sometimes it might be Shorty might decide, look, can we do it an hour early because this I got this major shoot. Or you might look up and you 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 land a, a paid gig. Now you're gonna try to fit that in before you shoot with these other shorty. You get what I'm saying? You be prepared to move, but also be prepared to say no. There's other problem, fellas. We 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 have to be able to say no. Laser do it. Because one, you you want to give your best, and you don't want to seem like you're not at your best. Like the shot I put a shot with, I bumped into two. I think like it was two o'clock in the morning. She was drunk as a stone. She was like, "Yeah, we hook up at six. <laughs> I already knew that wasn't gonna fucking happen. You drunk as a skunk at two o'clock in the goddamn morning. The fuck out of here." <laughs> You in the party tipsy. And like I said, and two, go to the convention. Walk around. Meet people. Network. Because even if you don't <clears throat> get to shoot with some of the females you work run into, you might can set up something for a later date or another time. See, that's the key to going to any convention. Even if you go just to experience that you ain't trying to shoot. You can actually talk to people and set up shoots because you might bump into somebody that live in your area or might come through your area. <clears throat> you know, period. Because understand, you can't walk up in that motherfucker and think that you just going to get a big a chick or in, in some of these niggas' mind, yeah, I'm going to get this bitch motherfucker shooting me tonight. It don't work like that, player. Very few females that walk in that floor is not booked up or is not doing something that fucking weekend. This ain't like you're going to the club, you might look, even then, it, you, 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 you might get the number, but you might not get to take it home or go home with her. Same thing. Plus, on top of that, this is the area where these females are getting mad attention. So who gives a fuck about you? They getting picked up by muscle dudes and the whole nine. The, the fans coming up to them about, they're about to jerk off in front of their asses in that motherfucker. Think about it. Some of y'all motherfuckers actually think like I ain't want to do I talk to you like, yeah man, you know, we I was like, did you book anything? He was like, no, man. I'm just going to go up in there. Guess how many girls you shot that weekend, Zilch? Actually, you look less professional. Because the first thing I'm going to holler is, well, what shoes you did this weekend? Well, I ain't did anything. I figured I'd catch some scragglers around it. <laughs> Country creator versus porn star slash porn. It's called work smart, not hard, people. See, that's why I do these shows, so it kind of give y'all some knowledge of what have you. I mean, this won't going to be a long-ass show, not my normal 45 minutes or hour. But, like I said, you these are things you have to think about. 
you also need to know about your location. You want to be in a location. Oh, I forgot about that part. You want to be in a hotel or a location that is nearby the convention, but not at the convention. You get what I'm saying? You might be across the parking lot. You might be across the street. You might be two blocks down. You want to be with me. So, one, you ain't spending much money on a fucking Uber. Or even better, they might have a shuttle service that go to that motherfucker. Because understand the thing about New Jersey is it's not a lot to do up there. So the focus is going to be the convention versus if you in Miami, you decide you want to go to a new beach. This is fucking October 27th, I think. That's the, the last weekend of October, right before Halloween. Motherfucker, please. It's cold as shit up there in New Jersey. cold as shit. <laughs> so, you know, period. Plus, add to the monkey pox, the COVID, all that shit you want to add to it. So, that's why, I, you know, people go up there just to do shoots, don't even go to the convention. But I think you, if you got the money and, and the time, go to the convention. Don't park a lot pimp like me and my man did, because I ain't had the money going to the convention that year. <laughs> Because parking lot pimping at the Exotica sucks. Okay? There's no such thing. You know, period. I, I, I was like, I rather just stay at the hotel and wait for the motherfuckers to come out and then we shoot afterwards. Man. So, um, and like I said before, the, the other thing, fellas, don't try to get the girl to stay the night at your... Uh, uh, your abode because unless she throws that offer to you uh, you're going to look stupid real fast you know for her. and the other thing is it, the moment it, like this you might have let somebody skate for not having their test current test or what have you don't do that shit that Exoticas or the conventions because people will snitch. You know, you know. Uh, like I said, people do some of the dumbest shit. Motherfuckers brought fake tests to the convention. <laughs> I was like, yeah. See, that's see. That's why I tell people when you're trying to level up, what you were doing before may not adapt to the leveling up that you're doing. You have to learn to adjust. So with that being said, that was your Zotica lifestyle guide. You know, period. Um, excuse me, your Zotica, if you're going to the convention, you know, the Zotica convention guide, you know, period. On how to book, get shoots, what you need to do, what you need to bring, thought process and the whole nine, you know, period. Oh, and the other part of that, too, is before I go, if you're going to have the room, you know, have wipes, have shit for the ladies so when they come in, they feel comfortable. You know. Um, because the simple fact of that, if you have them coming to you, the little shit makes them talk to other females that going to make them want to work with you. See, people wonder, a lot of motherfuckers wonder why the hell Finney's getting so many girls and work with so many girls because Finney is a nice dude that makes the women feel so fucking comfortable in his presence that they go tell other girls, you should check out Finney. You love Finney. Oh, he's so great. Yeah. That's why Finney's probably a dude that was getting pussy before porn. Let's just keep it one. <laughs> Shouts out to Finney. Booby University, you know what I'm saying? That, that motherfucker gonna win AVN. Trust me, he's gonna get nominated for AVN one day. I put money on it. So, but that's my point. You know, Billy, he the shit that he do. It's because once again, this is a convention. So you got to bring your best to come to this exotica because you want to make an impact and an impression. Simple as that. See, I ain't get to get make a chance to make an impression when I was talented. 
I didn't get to go inside the Azaga, New Jersey. When I went to Miami, I, I went in because we were down there. So I wasn't down there as talent. I wasn't looking to shoot. But I wonder what if I did. Who knows? So life is a learning experience. What's the point of the experience? You learn new things. Smoke that over. Y'all have a wonderful night. Wonderful morning, actually.